everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you the Create 365 Wedding Edition planner that they have. This is just the dividers and the papers that come with them. It does not come with the rings or any covers. So what comes in here is all in the back and I'm going to go ahead and go in and show you what they have. I got this from Michaels for $2.99. They have them on sale currently because I believe they're going to come out with brand new ones. And then these were $2.99 also. These were on sale along with that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So these dividers I bought separately along with that, um, but I had this originally for my original planner. And then this is what comes in the package that I bought. Now this was in total of $14.99 with $7.99 shipping so I believe in total it was about $22 and some change. Within the package this is what you're going to be receiving from this now on. So the first tab is going to be our wedding and it's going to be an outline of what everything is going to be take part. So this is all of the wedding events at a glance and it has your engagement party, your bridal shower, your bachelorette, bachelor, ceremony rehearsal, a rehearsal dinner, ceremony, and the reception. And so over here I think it's really nice that they left all of this blank because I think it would be really cute to basically have pictures over here of all of these parties and rehearsals that you had and just kind of keep a keepsake of everything. This tab over here is going to be the vendors and they have a really nice little pattern. And this is going to be the contact list. And so anybody that you end up booking, you can put all of their business information here or personal information if you're going to have someone personal do it. And on this side, they have questions and things like that that you can ask different vendors and things like that. So when you have... When you're trying to make your decision, you have three companies that you had already interviewed and you have all of their answers and things like that in here and they have a good amount. So this one is for the venue. And so they have a good amount of questions and they also have pro tips of uh, questions that you can ask or things that could just possibly come up. And over here is for the caterer. And they also give you a uh, just a couple of things to remember and things like that. And they also have a good load of questions for that. And for your cake baker, your florist, your stationer, your music or your DJ, uh, the photographer. So I think this is really going to come in handy when you are trying to make your final decision and things like that because this, in my personal opinion, I had to book my venue and my photographer without these things and I think it would been I think it would have been really nice to have this and have like a layout of things that you would need to ask uh, just so that you can just get a real good feel of what your vendor is going to be like and things like that. Then over here is for your engagement ring and your wedding rings for uh, you and your groom and you can also post pictures here of what they're going to look like. Over here is for any vendors that they did not include in here so any photo booths or your bartenders or things like that you can actually post little pictures here or ideas of what you want it to look like. So when you bring it over to your vendor, you have an idea of what you want it to look like so that you and the vendor can be on the same page. And they give you a good amount of pages for that. Then over here, it's another foil tab and this says, you have my whole heart for my whole life. And this is for inspiration. And for the inspiration, you have a color palette. So they give you three different combinations that you can have. This is going to be amazing for me because I have the hardest time trying to figure out what I want for my colors. And this is going to be a really good breakdown. And over here, you can just basically tear apart all of the wedding magazines that you have, cut up pictures that you really love, and just glue them onto here. This is for the ceremony. This is for the reception, for the fashion, for any uh, dresses 
or your hair, your makeup, your shoes, jewelry, things like that. You can have that all on this page. And on the back, you can have fashion for your bridesmaids, for your groomsmen, things like that. And also they have a spot for your stationery so that you have like a good idea of what you want your save the dates and your, your invitations are gonna look like. And over here is for any florals. So any of your um, bouquets and any of your boutonnieres, corsages, anything like that, you can have a good place to put everything. This over here is for your budget. This is pretty close to the other, let's see, I think it's for vendors. So yeah, it's just the opposite colors, so of the same pattern. So for your budget, if you turn it over, they give you an outline and breakdown of what you'll need for your wedding and if you have a very strict budget this is very good to go by and things like that so you can have they give you a breakdown of everything so this is for your planning your stationery, your reception and they give you a place for your budget they give you an estimate of what your vendor is going to give you and then they have the actual of what you're going to actually pay and so that's really really nice to have over here it's the ceremony the flowers the attire the photographer the video the music the rings the transportation they have literally everything broken down so that you don't forget anything and nothing comes up as a surprise because I know that that's a big thing for weddings that you just completely forget about something and it comes to your wedding day and it's just not there. Um, so it, this is really really nice to have there. Over here is for your wedding favors and then just miscellaneous things again for things that you are booking aside from the things that are from a traditional wedding. Over here is your checklist and on the page it's a light blue with a kind of washy of a gold and white um, foil and it says love, cherish, and honor and if you turn the page it gives you a checklist of what you'll need to have done by a certain amount of time. So over here it gives you a time to be completed and you put the date that you want all of this to be done. Uh, I find this very uh, helpful especially because I'm the type of person that if you give me a checklist and you give me a date to have it done by I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it as soon as possible because I don't want anything to be forgotten and if it is forgotten I have time to actually do it. Um, so over here is going to be anything um, from when you got engaged to announcing your engagement, deciding the date, all that fun stuff, then over here is when you actually start planning your wedding, which is from the 9 to 12 months before. Over here, it's the 6 to 9 months before, and again, they have the, uh, the completion date, and they also give you little notes here so that you can write down extra things that you want to do or things that you just want to keep um, as reminders in the end and then again they have the three to six months with the completed date by and they have all of this down here then they have the two months before and more notes then one month before and all the things that you need to complete in the notes and again so it's just a repeated thing that you're going to see i think this is really nice to have in the book because i am i i get a lot of the knot and things like that and inside every single knot magazine they give you a checklist but it's really nice to have everything all in one place so that you don't have everything scattered around and that is the main reason that i ended up getting this so they have the two weeks the one week the day before in the wedding day. So this is all just sorted out here for you. They also have an emergency kit for you or for your fiance. Um, and they have everything in here. So to kind of have like a baggie with you, one of your bridesmaids can hold and they have all of that in there for you so that you don't forget anything. They also have weekly checklists and they give you about four to six pages of this. And so this is really good for a person that is planning their, their wedding on their own. They don't have a wedding planner as myself. I'm doing this all on my own and I work full time. So it's a pretty strict schedule that I have to go by. And so it's really nice to have everything broken down, things that you're gonna need to do by what date and things like that. So it's really, really nice to have that. And like I said, they give you a good amount of pages for this. 
Then over here is a polka dot of uh, cream and black, and this is for the wedding party. And I think it's really nice, again, that they left this blank because you can just literally put pictures around here of after the wedding and who was in your wedding and things like that. And you can just kind of put the pictures in here. Then over here is all of the contact information of whomever is going to be in your wedding party. So this is going to be, uh, they give you six spots for your bridesmaids, six spots for your groomsmen, one spot each for the flower girl and the ring bearer, six spots for ushers, um, and then the bride and the groom, and um, not the bride and the groom, but the mother of the bride, mother of the groom, and you know what I mean by this point. And then any miscellaneous things. So if you have extra bridesmaids or extra groomsmen or parents being divorced and you have extra people. So you have a good amount of space here for them to be in there. Over here is for the fashion. So when you finally start uh, getting all the, the uh, bridesmaids and all of the dresses and things like that, um, you have all of their information here. So let's say that for some reason the shop doesn't have the measurements for some some one of one of the bridesmaids and they don't have their contact information. You have their contact information over on this side, but you also have their measurements so that you're able to just go ahead and let them know, hey, these are the measurements for these people. And so you have all of that available. They also have a place for the shoes, the jewelry, and other miscellaneous things that you're gonna have. They also have the contact information for the store, what dress, so you can put the dress style and what designer and what color. Over here is for the men's. So you have the tuxedo style, the color, the designer. You also have the place for the store. Also the same thing for the measurements and for whom's going to be um, standing in your wedding. And they have the accessories as for the shirt, the belt, the shoes, the tie or bow tie and other. So I thought this was a really neat page to have. Then over here is for your flower girl and for your ring bearer. And I like that they gave you a good amount of space because again, you can have a spot for a picture here so that you can just kind of keep in here so it can be really, really cute. Or for the picture that you take over at the shop, you can also put that in here so that you can have a photo of what it's going to be like. Over here is going to be the beauty notes. So for your hair, your makeup, your nails, things like that. So you have an idea of what you want it to be like and things like that. And you can also put pictures here for just inspiration and things like that. So I thought that was really neat. And over here is gifts for the party. So you can just kind of write down everything that you want for them and things like that. Over here is going to be the guests. Um, so it has a kind of a rustic brown and it says together is a beautiful place to be. And the tab is a very light baby blue. And you turn it over and they have a guide for invitations and other printed materials. And they give you pro tips of how to do things and things like that. And they also give you like a, um, they kind of give you like little tips here and there of things that you could easily forget and things like that. So here are all of that. And over here is going to be your draft. I believe they give you about three pages of a guest list for your draft. And then, yeah, so they give you three pages and then they give you about four to five, I believe, for your master. And for the master is for the, um, the names, the address, and whether or not they rsvp so that you have all of that information in here. So they give you four pages for that. Over here is a gift record, which I absolutely love that they did this. It's really easy to just get a piece of paper and write down who gave you what and things like that, but it's so nice just to have everything all in one spot. Um, so you can write down who it was from, what gift they provided, and whether or not you sent a thank you note to them. So I thought that was really nice. So for when you're at the bridal shower and things like that, your bridesmaids can just, they, they see this book and they know immediately what to do. And so they give you about four, so they give you five pages of that over here. Over here is going to be the wedding events and it has a peachy and white stripe pattern and it has a gold foiled heart as you can see right there. 
Over here is going to be the engagement party and they give you a big spot to put a photo and who's going to be invited, the host, the food, the decor, the outfit, your favorite memory. This goes along with the uh, bridal shower and they give you a date, location, gift tracker. Again, that's really nice to have. Over here is the bachelorette and bachelor party, which I love that they inserted this so that you can have like pictures here and you can have your fiance write down what his favorite memory was. Um, and they also give you two photos over here and right here it says girls just want to have fun. And then here it just has the men, which I thought was really, really cute. Over here is for the ceremony rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. And then it's picture and notes so that, again, you can just kind of scrap all of the uh, photos and memories that you gathered and you can just put them all in one page. Over here is going to be the wedding day and they give you a cream and black chevron pattern with a silver circle and inside of it, it has I do, obviously. <laughs> Then you turn over and it has the timeline, which I absolutely think that these are things that you need to do. So the timeline is great for your um, photographer. The ceremony is great for, um, for you to have, especially, and for the songs. They give you a place for your songs. And this is really good to give to your, the people that are going to be doing your ceremony music and things like that. Then over here is your uh, reception. And again, it's the song. So this is a copy that you can give over to your DJ. And then over here is a reminder. So they give you uh, tipping cheat sheets. And then they give you just little pointers here and there that you'll need to do or th um, things like that so that you don't forget anything. Then over here is a seating chart workshop, um, or a worksheet, I'm sorry. And I don't do this, but I think this would be really nice to have for, um, again, just making a photo album. And so you can just kind of put washi tape up here and you can just put memories of that you build and pictures that you had your photographer take or your friends and your family take and you can just go ahead and print those out and you can have them in here and you can have you have three pages worth of that. Over here is going to be your menu. So it's going to be your appetizers, your main course, your sides, your dessert and your beverages. And the delegation of tasks. So you will have somebody that will um, kind of have all of this set out so that if you have a company or if you have a person in your party that will do all of this, you actually know who's going to do it and things like that. And so you have all of their contact information. And over here is a tab for your honeymoon. And I thought that was really neat of them to do. And so the, um, the tab is foiled, a gold foil. And it says, a true love story never ends. And that's in foil. And then it's a light baby blue. And on the edging, it's kind of like a striped angled uh, black and white washi tape. And then it gives you like the planning that you'll need to do. So the place, the contact information, the availability, whether it's open or not, the pricing, the activities, the transportation, things like that, that you'll need to keep in mind when you're booking your honeymoon. Then over here is for your budget, and um, I thought that was really nice to do too. So they have the budget, the estimate, and then what the actual cost is going to be. And so they give you a place for your um, activities and a spot for your total. So I think that it is a really good thing to have when you are planning your honeymoon. Then over here they have a spot for your packing lists. So they have a hers and his section also so that if he has extra things that he needs to take or you have extra things that you need to take, you have that all in here. And then they have a spot for um, inter-airy. They have a spot over here for your honeymoon inter-airy, which I think it would be really nice to have your date and then just a photo here of what you did and just kind of write a memory of what you did that day and what stood out to you that day and they give you two weeks worth of that in here. And so that pretty much finishes up the planner. So when I think, I think that they made this 
for the typical bride. So for the bride that is just um, doing this on her own and just needs to figure out how to do everything, they, they basically broke down everything in here. And I think that they did an amazing job doing this. And I, I have to really applaud them for this because this is something that I've been trying to look for. And for it to only be $14.99 and for it to be, it's going to be in Michael's, I believe, in February. And it's you're able to get this for 50% off or 40% off then. So it's just a very affordable planner to have rather than when you go to Barnes & Noble's, you need to get certain books for the questions and certain magazines for the checklists and for ideas and things like that. So as you start to plan, it starts to add up. So to have this all in one spot and to have it as broken down as possible and to have a spot for everything, it's just basically amazing to me so I have to give me and my big ideas a big applaud for this whole entire book and they did a really great job so um, if you have any questions about this please let me know and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions and I'll also leave down all of the um, um, information down below so that you can get the covers and the dividers and the uh, wedding planner along with that but like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'd be more than happy to come back to y'all and interact with y'all. But I'll see you next time. Bye.